So last week I built a battery out of 320 amp hour cells that I found on AliExpress. They were super cheap for 16.3 kilowatt hours. It only cost $2,800. But those cells were swollen and they did not pull full capacity when they arrived. So I went back online and I found some other listings that cost more. This one is about 30% more expensive than the last set of cells that I bought. But this company specifically states that they have grade A matched cells. And they are bloated. And right before I got these cells, I got an email from a viewer saying that this size lithium iron phosphate aluminum case cell naturally swells and that's just the way it is. Typically swelling is a sign of the electrolyte degrading and gas formation inside the cell. But that might not be the case. And my grade B cells might just need to be equalized. And I think they might actually pull full capacity this week after I get some equalizers. Or if I do an actual top balance and I spend my whole day doing that. But that battery is massive and I don't have all the parts to do that test. So today we're going to take these grade A cells, or they are advertised as being grade A. We'll do a capacity test at the state of charge that they arrive in. And if they pull full capacity, that's great. If it does not pull full capacity, we're we're going to do a top balance or use an equalizer and then we'll do another capacity test and see if we can actually pull that 310 amp hours. Also two distributors of cells have told me that 310 and 320 amp hour cells are actually 302 amp hour cells but they label them as 310 and 320 because typically they test that high. It's similar to how a 100 amp hour fortune cell will test at 106 amp hours. They'll pull over their rate of capacity for a few years actually. So technically these are 302 amp hour cells and I think this bulging is natural unfortunately. But what's really nice about these cells is they come from an American warehouse. So you can get them in like a week, maybe two weeks at the latest. If you buy them off AliExpress, it will take two to three months, sometimes longer. Sometimes it takes upwards of five months to get to your home. And these cells come with welded studs, which is really nice. No way. These are the same bus bars and nuts as my last set of cells. And I think these cells are the same too. I'm gonna go check. All right guys, it's official. So I just checked and these have the same barcode, the same overpressure relief valve, same dimensions. They are the same cells that I just bought. But unfortunately they cost more. We have a 120 amp overkill solar BMS. And it's on. 13 volts. Uh oh. So the BMS is disconnected. Let me just short it out real quick. Cool. I could have turned it on with the power supply, but that was just easier. So we're charging with 65 amps. So we'll come back in a few hours when it's fully charged. There we go. High voltage disconnect. So it's finally charged. That took all day, man. By the way, I'm gonna get some GPU miners in here and we're gonna run them off of solar. It's gonna be so fun. Sunshine comes in, money goes out. The test has started, but it's gonna take eight hours. We're starting at eight o'clock, so we'll be back in the morning. So the test is now done, but last night I had a dream that this thing pulled 304 amp hours. I'm not joking, I had a full on dream and I was super excited. So let's see what the results are. 300 amp hours, really? Aw, oh, darn it. What a bummer. And this curve looks really good. There's no abrupt drop as in the last test. What a bummer that is. I spent more money and I did not pull the full capacity. Can you believe that? So let's try balancing these cells and redoing this test. I'm gonna leave it how it is, remove the balance cable, add an equalizer, do a cycle so I don't have to move this thing, and then we'll test it again. So now it's wired up, including the battery charger, but we're gonna put this active balancer on top of a lithium polymer fire safe bag, just in case it goes up in smoke again. Now we're charging it with 70 amps. The active balancer is actually working pretty good. So 1.7, 1 amp, 1.4, 0.7 and 1.6 but we need to check when it's at a high state of charge that's when these pass a lot of current so let's come back in a few hours and see what happens now the battery is fully charged so let's check the balance current we have 0 0.6 0 0.6 again 0 0.6 1 amp 
in 0.4, that's not that great. So what we're gonna do is manually charge this without a BMS to get that final bit of absorption and see if we can increase the current from this balancer. And this is dangerous, you guys should not try this at home. Now check this out, so the first cell is at 3.48, second cell is 3.49, third cell is 3.48, and fourth cell is 3.62. But we only have two amps going from this high voltage cell into the cell next to it. So this balancer would actually take quite a while to balance this pack, and we would have to ensure that it's at a high state of charge for it to actually work. You know what we should do instead? While it's connected in series, I'll use this power supply to individually charge these to 3.65 volts. That way I can top balance it myself. Instead of depending on this thing to push only two amps, I can use 10 amps with this power supply. And top balancing these cells should be very fast because they're already at a high state of charge. So let's go through each one and top balance them. So this is the negative and here's the positive. We have 2.4 amps going into the cell. We could increase the voltage and make it go up to 10 amps, but you have to watch it very carefully if you do this. But this is not for beginners. You can easily overcharge your cells, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So increase the voltage. And now I'm gonna measure directly on the terminals. And we're at 3.4 volts. So I'm gonna hold it here until we hit 3.65, and then we will disconnect the power supply. But the balancer is still connected, so some of this current is going into the cell next to it. Let's see how fast the voltage rises when I disconnect this balancer. All right, we're at 3.5 volts, we're almost there. All right, there we go, 3.65 volts, and now I'm gonna disconnect everything. Cell number two is at 3.65 volts, and I'm gonna disconnect power supply. There we go, 3.65 on cell number three, so we're gonna remove the power supply. And now the voltage will settle across these cells. But I wanna get that final bit of absorption, so we're gonna connect the balancer and manually charge the whole pack. And the balancer's doing something. We've got 1.5 amps. So check this out. We have 3.6 volts, 3.62, 3.60, 3.62. So I would have to say that this is now top balanced and we got that final bit of absorption because they are all at a higher voltage. But we might be able to get a little bit more absorption into this thing. And pack nominal is 14.4 volts. Now I'm gonna disconnect the balancer and we're gonna do a capacity test. Gosh, that took a long time, <laughs> holy cow. Now everything is disconnected from this battery except for the capacity tester. And the test has now started, so we'll come back in eight hours and see what our results are. It took all day, but the test is finally done. 2.9. 2.8, 2.9, So this cell was the first one to hit high voltage disconnect and the first one to hit low voltage disconnect. So I'm guessing this has the smallest capacity out of all four. Let's see what the results are. 304 amp hours. Guys, that was in my dream last night. I did not make that up. I actually have it on film as proof. How crazy is that? What are the chances that I actually had a dream with that number? I did not make that up, guys. I have it time stamped for every single video clip. But yeah, my dream was the exact capacity of these cells. 304 amp hours, gosh, that's crazy. But unfortunately, it still did not pass the test because I'm pretty sure that fourth cell is bad. You know they could just label this as a 300 amp hour cell and everybody would be happy. But no, in China they always have to say it's 310 or 320 and pretty much lie about it. And then they say that they balance and match them. Um, that's a lie. If you guys have good equipment, you would have found that bad cell instantly. And unfortunately, balancing this pack any further will not help this fourth cell. So I'm gonna try to return it actually because that's false advertising. They need to change their advertising and say that these are grade B swollen cells. And honestly, I don't know if these cells naturally expand and contract. I just saw a review on Amazon where somebody had one cell that was expanded a lot, but the other ones looked normal. They were not expanded. And on this pack, all the cells are bulging. So even though they say it's a grade A cell, I don't think it is. Unless you guys can prove me wrong, please provide evidence below if you think I'm wrong on this. Also, I want to stress the fact that doing more equalization or doing a complete top balance will not change the capacity of this pack because this cell is defective. And these cost more. These were $250 each. And I know some people will argue that I pulled 98% of its rated capacity, but I still don't think that that's acceptable. Stealing 2% from every single customer is not fair. And that adds up quickly. Over about 50 customers, they just made a few thousand dollars. So 
So yeah, this is not good. Technically these cells are still a very good deal, but they are bloated. And I cannot give you an honest answer of if bloating is good or bad for this size cell. Typically it's bad. So if you choose to buy them, it's on you. Please let me know what your results are. Anyways, that's it for today's video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.